What up, you boy? Darth back at it again with another video. Today we are here with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Win Episode Ten. Last episode, <laughs> my man, uh, my man Narancha went stupid. Let's let's be real. He went absolutely insane. We got a, a escort mission for one of the capos to protect the daughter, uh, the daughter's boss, the daughter himself's boss. No, the wait, hang on. The boss's daughter, god damn it, <laughs> um, and I'm a little hesitant because, um, you know how I feel about escort missions, but, um, high spirits. Now, Narancha does have a, has a plant on him now, uh, this could be bad, but we're gonna see where it goes, so, uh, with all that being said, we're gonna hop straight into it, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, all the other stuff, if you're just a lurker, I appreciate you too, if you have any requests, whether it be more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure or something totally different, the best place to send that in is always my, uh, social media, link's gonna be in the description, if you want these episodes early, you can, uh, subscribe to my Patreon, so, with all that being said, let's get our headphones, make sure that they are on them bitches is on and let's just get into it in three two one go yeah for Maggio, you almost got like that was cool as fuck that was just cool as fuck bro I'm gonna follow my orders. Good idea. Oh shit, attracting attention. Can't have that. What? 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 He called it back? Nah, that's. Nah. That's cool as fuck. That's just cool as fuck. His shoulder, the nape of his neck and his shoulders is the landing. Oh my god. It's the landing strip. That's crazy. Oh shit. Oh shit, he's getting smaller, right? Shit. Oh no, he's getting exponentially smaller. Whoa. Oh, shit. See, I thought that he was just going to, like, use him as a plant, but he's just making him smaller. Holy fuck. What? What? That's wild. Oh, uh, you bitch. Ah, fuck. Yeah, so he is still using him as a l plant. Fuck. Bam ba 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 I want to get up, because the song kind of going crazy. I don't want to get up. Uh, fact. I got to get up. That song going crazy. Fuck it. Okay. Never mind. It's all good. <laughs> Fighting gold. Do, 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 do. 
So he is gonna be a plant. I I didn't I thought he was just gonna fight him while he was small, which but it's smart it's smart to just be a plant. Alright, let's get it. I'm parched. God damn it, I forgot she's kind of a bitch. We're gonna die of thirst. God damn it. Somebody said um, in the comment section, I don't know if they said it in the video or they said it on Patreon, uh, but they're like, it's funny that they're like, it's funny that um, uh, Mrs. Stand is basically just a stand that just just sleeps and eats. And I was like, you know what? That's perfect. <laughs> that is genuinely perfect. Right, they are worried because he's supposed to be. Oh my god! Whoa, yo! Oh wow, really? You can stay separate from your body. What? Right, you gotta get there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh my god. Are you really too small to open that? Or is it. Oh, it's an automatic door. You don't weigh enough. Yeah. It's a. Oh, mother. Yeah, you don't weigh enough. Fuck, dude. Oh shit. There you go. Good man. Jump in that bitch. Oh fuck. God damn it. Why'd you walk through it? Oh. Oh. My man. Why did my man walk through it, bro? Come on. Oh god. Uh Nice Yeah you forgot bitch ass nigga <laughs> Nah he's cool <laughs> I love Narancha so much Narancha's height too Ooh shit Holy fuck he is small Yo, no, I love Narancha. I love Narancha. I wonder if his stand gets smaller. Oh, fuck. Like, I wonder if his stand gets smaller. Because if his stand gets smaller. Or if it doesn't. If it doesn't get smaller. I wonder. I wonder if he can ride his stand. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm getting at. Because that would be cool as fuck. Oh, God. His stand doesn't get smaller. Oh, wait, does it? It does. Okay. I don't know if it's smaller or not yet. Oh. He got you, dumbass. Yo. Yo. How the fuck did you do that? Whoa! <laughs> Bitch ass nigga! Oh. What the fuck? God damn it. You bitch. You stalking fucker. 
I love Narancha so much. What if he streams and he says, I need a text one. Huh. What? What? That's crazy. Shit, don't worry about that, big dog. <laughs> Tickle his ass. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Bitch ass nigga! I I don't think I maybe I haven't said this enough. <laughs> da, da, da. I love Narancha so much. I don't think you understand. This guy's great. Bitch ass nigga! Ooh. Yo. Oh shit. He's really smart with that though, using the momentum of the of different things to propel himself since he's smaller. Really smart. Really smart. Right. Yeah, he's he's smart for that. Holy shit. Bro, that... It is a lot like Black Sabbath, where it's just like... It just slowly stalks. It just, I love that. I love that. Oh my god. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> He's so cool. He's so cool. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He's so cool. He is so cool. Yeah, bitch ass nigga. Look at you. It can go in the what? Oh, I thought it was under the fucking water. Oh my god. Yo, Narancha actually has this guy on the fucking ropes. That's insane. Is he condensing the water? He's convinced of the nine members. Narancha's one of them. Okay. Oh, I thought he was about to just list them off. Years ago in Nepal. Now, I keep calling it Nepal. <laughs> Napolis. Naples. Napolis. I I suck at that name. Oh my god. Is he just about to Bro, don't do it to him. Oh my god, this is about to fucking suck. Ew. Well, these guys are interesting. Damn. Okay, y'all ain't got to do my nigga like that. He... Damn, y'all fucking my man's up over here. Bro, this man is about to fuck him up. Yo, he's about to fuck him up. That's insane. The man just drank a car. Imagine. Ugh. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, no. Oh, this is about to suck. 
Oh, well. Holy fuck. <clears throat> Holy fuck. Whoa. Damn, they be cooking that nigga. Shit yourself if you don't. Wow. Yo, hang on. That guy's. Yo. Sorry, babe. Who the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, his character design is insane. Okay. So it starts matures groups. Right. <clears throat> so this is just a branch or the traders, I guess you could say. It might be at least. Yeah, this is the traders. Organization attempting to take yeah. Right. Okay. Cause they going crazy on on the DMs, bro. Bro, why is he yell whispering, bro? All right, Mister Neurotic. Okay. Bro, why is everybody's fashion fashion sense so fucking fucking crazy? Police corpse. What? What happened to you? What the fuck? Punishment. Is this a third party? He's like, this in the package is. Interesting. <laughs> Frames. What the fuck? Empty frames. <clears throat> what? He's in the frames? Wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, hell no. <laughs> right? Whoa. Whoa. I, I, is there, whoa, so just storage and feed, what, the human team came into a set, I can't realization at this time as well, what, Oh my god. Oh my god. Who the fuck? I 
I, I, this is not where I thought we were going with this. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Okay. So that was just off of just trying to figure out who the boss was. <clears throat> That's insane. Okay, back to the fight. Fuck. That thing has like unlimited ammo, bro. That's insane. Oh, he killed the rats. Oh, no way he's about to fucking... Okay, I thought he was about to like... Shrink himself into the rat. Whoa. Dude, that's actually scary as fuck. Oh my god. It follows breathing? What? That's incredible. Oh, wow. What? Narancha's actually really disgusting. He has a fucking radar. What? Yo, Narancha's disgusting, actually. You li- You literally cannot breathe when you're in a fight with him. Insane, bro. Shoot them all or bomb it. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, you got my dumb ass. Oh, goodbye. Oh. Same movement pattern. They're all moving the same way. Boy, they're breathing harder than the red. He can. So it means that he's working. Oh my god. You tired? Feeling out of breath? That's something heavy on top of you. Oh my god. Oh, whoa. Bing, 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 bing. Whoa. Oh, shit. God damn it. Yeah, god damn it. Oh, you should have died. You should have died. Every time I close my eyes. I wake up feeling so horny. I can get you out of my mind. Sex and you be all I see. I would give anything just to make you understand me. I don't give a damn about nothing else. Freaking you is all I need. I need your body. You got my time. You won't be sorry. What must I say? What must I do to show how much I think about freaking you? 
What must I say? What must I do to show how much I think about freaking you? Bro, I love, I love that, oh, that ED. That ED is insane. <laughs> Just insane. It's show to see, bro. I will never, I will never not get over that. I will never not get over that, man. Um, <clears throat> Uh, that, that was, that, first of all, okay, first of all, Moron Narancha, love it, um, Narancha is disgusting to me, that, <clears throat> that power, he, not only is it an aerial power that has decent remote control capabilities, but it can track you by breath, you, that, you know how terrifying that is, do you, un do you understand that if, if, if Narancha hadn't been shrinking, how absolutely terrifying and strong his his stand is. <clears throat> like that, I that that's genuinely terrifying. The fact that this thing just stop like let, let, let let's compared to black sabbath who was also terrifying right black sabbath would stalk you in the shadows right as soon as you touch shadows oh, i'm about to destroy you you know what i'm saying like that that's scary right but this thing can follow you no matter where you're at it's just gonna follow you right because it's remote controlled at this point it's gonna follow you not only is it gonna follow you but with black sabbath you can step in in the you can step in in the shadow that's scary yes but doable and that makes it a little less scary when you when you figure it out okay just don't step in the shadows that's still a little, a little scary but just don't step in the shadows with naranjas aerosmith you can't breathe or it finds you and like i don't know how many how many of you like have um played like a decent amount of video games in, in your lives but like i would assume a, a good amount of you and there's always a video game where it has like turrets in it right where like as soon as you step in like a light or something like that you you get into some type of vicinity make some type of noise it automatically locks onto you and just riddles you full of holes right and that's scary to me, for some reason, whenever I played games like that, that shit didn't sit well with me. I didn't like that. I was like, that, no. Because it, it, it limited me. It limited something that is very much like, something that is inherent uh, to me. Like walking, breathing, making noise. Like, that's some shit that you do every day. And as soon as you take it away from somebody because you can't do it or you die, it becomes terrifying. Um, so it's the same thing with, uh, with Naracha's, um, Aerosmith. <laughs> because you can't breathe or it finds you, it becomes all the more terrifying. Um, and I, it, Naranja is, is, that's my nigga right now. Like, that is literally my nigga right now. I, I love that guy, bro. I love that guy, bro. Um, now enough of you know enough of, of of you know being on on the narancha parade you know and all this other stuff you know singing his praises and stuff because you know I, I could do that forever but what we will talk about is um the the interesting turn that this episode took in learning the um about the hitman squad so these this is a different branch from the same um from the same organization but as we know these branches can you know go astray you know they could they could be led astray go astray you know they they could they are pretty much their own entities in some way you know they still have to be smart about it and you know they don't you, they can't be out here like they can't be out here on some fuck shit or they'll get killed as you know i.e 
what's his name gelato or like whatever his name is like you will get you will get dealt with now uh I, i'm talking about this because um with this with this um with this group being of the same organization but um a different kind of mindset a different kind of um a different kind of i guess you could say uh mission statement or just mission in general um it it kind of it stays true to the to the story that we've laid out so far um which is that this is a this is a a this is like this is a gangster's tale this is a godfather gangster's tale of like san andres proportions right like not every this this defeats the this defeats the middleman right like this is this is not this is not any like oh enemy stan who like just decide to do some fuck sh like what we've been getting with enemy stands it's like it's just some random fuckhead that decided that got a stand power and now he's he's going things are going awry because he's being a dick you know but this is like within your same gray area group just different ideals i guess you could say like i mean they all have the same kind of goal you know uh, kind of but i'm saying this just to say like it's it's a little bit more refreshing uh to get um enemies like this um now while while i say this um these do seem like very dangerous enemies you know they have they have their their mission which is you know get the get the boss's daughter because they already tried or at least one of them tried to get information on the boss and that didn't work out very well like that <laughs> that's gruesome like really gruesome like he got put in his place and then sent and then sent him the frames of his of their of their comrades body that's insane and then laid a note that just said punishment like this is some real mobster shit, but just with a, um, with a fantastical kind of twist to it. Um, when you bring in stands, because like sending somebody, like you know how gangster that is to send somebody, like send your homeboys body parts in frames, bro, in frames what that that is fucked that is fucked up and then with with the amount of fuckery that went down with them trying to dig into it like it, I, and i knew like that's what we were talking about in the last episode like i knew if you get you try to find out about his identity yeah you're gonna get like you're gonna get dealt with but seeing how brutal it is um in in the way of uh gelato and uh i forget the other guy's name uh yogurt or something you know the, it's it's something where it's something where it's like damn who are you bro like at first i'm like yeah okay you're the, you're a, you're a, the a mob boss you know you you are the head of the head of the head of the heads you know like you're the top boss of course you you don't want everybody to know your name but like now it's like who are you to be this like i'm not saying that in like a way of like oh we probably know this guy you know he's oh shit it's gonna turn out to be joseph all along no i'm not saying like that but it's like dude who do you have to be in order to like be this vigilant and he might just be like a very a very uh i guess you say just really careful with with um his identity and stuff and that's valid you know i understand that that's that's fine but dear god sending your homeboys like body to his homeboys like abode in in frames like jesus christ that is that's that's tough like i i have to wonder who the fuck you are at this point 
Um, but the the Hitman squad that we that we have that I, I'm guessing is going to be our main like I don't want to say villain villain, but like this is going to be like these th this is who we're prominently going to be fighting for this arc at least uh, this little arc that we have I'm I'm pretty sure like it's going to be like part four where it's like kind of two core in in a way where it's going to be like one arc and then you're going to have your big bad uh kira kira yoshikage dio-esque kind of um uh person or you know antagonist who god knows who that is like it may be the boss for all for all we know like we were talking about in the last video it may be the boss for all we know but what i do know is that right now i'm very much interested in these in these characters like especially like the head dudes i i guess the jester looking guy that guy's the character design in this part has been phenomenal already like the character design the fashion choices which is something that i'm always so interested um in when it comes to jojo like the character design fashion choices all this other shit was so like it's so interesting in this part like that like the main guy's like whole outfit is like this black jester shit that i i took me for a surprise like took me by surprise i can't wait to see what his stand does i i genuinely cannot wait to see that shit i can't wait to see what any of their stands do like it's just crazy like this entire part so far has been so so grounded in the the gangster like mob boss life like but having that fantastical like t uh spin on it like the dude like one dude drank a car and it exploded inside like this is like you can elevate your story to like some crazy heights with this type of potential and that's why i'm always so excited for this part specifically because like it it's just been so like there's been so much promise there's been so much promise you've got it all if you got you've got san andreas s story you know putting the hood on your back you know you got the stands you got the the crazy outfits the amazing um character designs like this is all this is like it feels like a culmination of everything that was learned and and taken in stride in part one through four and just brought into another part and yes we've talked about this before uh but you know just the the evolution of this um of this of the story characters and everything else like it, it's been really amazing to watch like unfold uh, for myself like this has been crazy and I've, I've just been really enjoying this shit man I've just been really enjoying this shit now unfortunately we're in a bit of a, a predicament with the whole like um, Narancha fight because goddamn it I thought that he was done for when he when he shot him up like in in the sewer like that I thought he was done but um it seems like he doesn't have enough power uh since he's been shrinking and that sucks and i get i yeah i get why and it makes sense but like god damn that sucks um but i will tell you whenever we're in a situation like this the fun is always f like figuring out how they f like seeing how they figure out um how to get out of these situations and with me being so hyped for a narancha stand i i'm really excited to see how he gets out of this one like this is this is some top tier stuff that i'm seeing right now and i'm really enjoying it like genuinely enjoying this shit this has been great um but a lot of a lot of information in this episode a lot of uh once again cool shots from narancha and, and his um his stan aerosmith like that shit's just once again i could just talk talk endlessly about how cool that shit is um but a lot of information 
this was actually really informative. I'm glad that we're, we're setting the table right now um, for the episodes to come now. So now I can be even more excited about what happens next. So with all that being said, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, all that other stuff. If you're just a lurker, I appreciate you too. If you have any requests, whether it be more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure or something totally different, the best place to send that in is always my social media. My Instagram is darthly 2 hs My Twitter's at not Darth. You can DM me, you can add me, whichever one you want to do, I'll respond to it and make I God, I keep telling myself that I will I will make this outro and intro short and sometimes i just don't links gonna be in the description if you want these episodes early you can subscribe to my patreon links also gonna be in the description so with all that being said <laughs> let me get my off button ready you all stay amazing stay safe and take care of yourselves